All right, have and have not fans, I want to fulfill my promise, and that was to make a video on May 21st as a celebration of it being one month from today of the haves and the have nots returning to own TV. Now, the topic of this particular video is the fact that a lot of the stars and cast members have pretty much been blowing up social media with different blog posts, photos, just talking about what's to come in next season and luckily you know i do think the stars of the show being active on their social media outlets because nine times out of ten whenever i tweet them i get a tweet back maybe not the same day maybe a week late later but they are really consistent with their replies so it has been confirmed that melissa and oscar are both coming back to the show i believe oscar con or brandon confirmed on his twitter uh philip boyd that he is coming back for a second part of season four. And if I'm not mistaken, they're shooting a new season right now. So technically, next month, we're going to be getting part two of season four. While in Atlanta right now, the cast members are at Tyler Perry Studios, or should I say the new location for Tyler Perry Studios, they're shooting season five. So Oscar is appearing back in season five. So I'm really excited about that. And also, Melissa or Antoinette Robinson, I hope I got the name right, she confirmed that she's coming back for new episodes, so I'm guessing the reason for her coming back is obviously because Veronica seems to have Jeffrey and Candace right where she wants them, well, wants them, but more particularly Jeffrey, given the fact that in last season, that's when she posted the announcement for Melissa and Jeffrey getting married because they're expecting a child in the newspaper, so obviously it's going to be some wedding planning there because Jeffrey, you know, obviously doesn't want to do it. But Veronica has him and Candace with the blood, if you will, the blood of Quincy on their hands. So if he doesn't do what she wants, he's probably going back to jail. And let's see here. Just want to go through some notes. OK, the other two big stars of the show that I've seen frequently posting, I believe there was a blog article from John Snyder with a picture of him you know looks like he has a black eye he's got some scruff so i'm assuming that he gets into some kind of fisticuffs in you know jail i don't know if it's because david comes back and beats him up because he did say that if anything happened to his wife he'll open that door and kick his ass so if maggie got shot or is dead david's going to hear about it get pissed because it happened in veronica's house at the front door Meaning that if Veronica was the one to open the door, it would have been her that got shot and probably killed. Or it could be because Jim got into some kind of fight in jail with some other, you know, inmates. I don't know how that's going to work, but if he's really in jail for the month or so that he's been assigned, it's obvious that he's going to be in some kind of fight at some point. But I'm more inclined to think it's a fight with David, but, you know, just depending on that theory, it's either David he gets into a fight with for some of the inmates. Now, of course, Peter Peros, I remember seeing a couple of posts on his Instagram where he pretty much just stated that, hey, fans, we got some big stuff, big surprise coming up in the new episode. So, again, the stars have been really and it's amazing. I believe I said this in my last video that I was literally on hiatus from doing videos in a while because I was working on, you know, finals for college, graduation. And I was thinking, OK, I don't have the time that I originally wanted or had plan to do if loving you is wrong i have been watching the season unfortunately i have not had the time to make the videos i thought i would be able to make in my time but i will say julius is nuts but him and eddie teaming up i'm looking forward to where that's going to go not to mention mama bear alex pulling out the trump card or double-edged sword of using her dad to get randall off her back so again sorry if loving you is wrong i feel bad because i didn't fulfill my promise but you know Life happens because not working at a major TV studio, so got to pay the bills by working in the call center and getting my education. Oh, back on track. So we have Melissa and Brandon slash Oscar confirmed. We have John Snyder, Peter Peros, or Jim and David posting that, okay, we got some major tricks in store for you. I remember recently that Angela Robinson, a.k.a. the Ice Cream Veronica, uh, posted a picture on Instagram of Oprah at Tyler Perry Studios during the filming of Have and Have Not. So, and Oprah's face looked like it was expressing joy. So, I mean, if she's smiling, pretty sure that means we got something to smile about in the future. Now, 
I'm trying to think of a good theory, but as usual, until we get a new teaser trailer for upcoming episodes, because again, the show's coming back in a month, so if, and again, I'm just making a, you know, just throwing spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. We might get a teaser trailer during the finale. If, if loving was wrong, I think the 90 minute finale is what either this coming up Tuesday or the Tuesday after next. So I hope that Tyler Perry gives us a good trailer like he did at the mid. What was it? The second part of season three. I hope we get one of those where it's like clips of the upcoming episodes because that really gives us something to draw. Well, you know, not just myself, but other fans theories to pull from, because when we see those trailers where it's like 20 different scenes in five seconds, I had to freeze frame, I had to look at the trailer a bunch of times and try to put the piece of the puzzle together. I hope we get one of those just because that's why I was taking a break from doing these videos. I had run out of theories. Like I legit legitimately talked about everything that I possibly can about the haves and the have not. So again, until we get one of those teaser trailers, I don't have too many theories that I can, you know, actually stretch out into a full video. So with that being said, if you haven't done so already, I'm not just trying to plug in my channel right now because, you know, subscribe to my channel, follow me on my Facebook page dedicated to has and have nots and my Twitter account. That's cool and all because trust me, that's where I get most of these video, you know, ideas from in terms of what to make a video about next. I would strongly suggest following all of the if loving you is wrong, uh, love thy neighbor, especially the has basically any Tyler Perry show. Be sure to follow the cast members online because number one, they have busy schedules. But the fact that even if it might be three days, four days, a week later, just having them reply to a tweet that shows like, wow, these people are busy filming, not just Tyler Perry shows, but different shows that they're on. But they took the time to read the tweet that you sent them. And actually, you know, respond back to it. Of course, they can't do spoilers, but just having them, hey, I'm coming back for a new season or, hey, I mean, that's a good question you asked me, but I can't tell you that. You just have to wait and see. So, again, just the fact that they're considerate enough to do that, just please be sure to follow their social media outlets. Again, Instagram, Twitter, because just like myself, you might see those pictures or those um, articles that they post, which kind of lets you know about what's going on. Because, again, they can't really get spoilers, but... Well, I'm one of those people that kind of reads between the line and might see things that aren't really there. But again, anything to get me pumped up for the new upcoming episodes is something I'll definitely recommend to you all. So again, be sure to comment below with your thoughts on what do you think is going to happen with the return of Melissa, Oscar slash Brandon. And of course, do you think that David's going to beat up Jim? Or do you think that Jim's bruise are the result of another inmate he gets into a fight with? So with that being said, I'll see you all in the next video. And again, hold on strong. We have one month until the have and the have nots return.